So we have our chicken breast going into a jar with our one egg and our garlic clove. We are just giving this a nice shake so that our chicken gets coated with the egg. Now we have our chicken breast going on top of our crumbs here, our bread crumbs. This is delicious and a great crust that's going to be created for our chicken here. So, so good. And you can season this however you'd like. We've got some garlic in here, as you know. We've got the basil and oregano, all the best flavors. We're placing this into our pre-greased baking dish with our other two chicken breasts. We have one can of petite diced tomatoes in the juice. This is a no salt added option. I am going to use this whole can and give it a sprinkle right on top of our chicken. Yum. We have some Italian seasoning. We wanna really season up this dish not just with our crusty crust, but also with our tomatoes. We want that to be nicely seasoned. I love this easy dinner. It is so good. It smells great already. Mm -hmm. And we're going to add more garlic because it is good for the body. Mm -hmm. And it tastes delish. It does. You can never have too much garlic. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Next, I have some fresh mozzarella that I have sliced up. I'm just going to place these slices right on top of our chicken. I love the way that the fresh mozzarella melts up. It is so good. And we also have some shredded mozzarella. This is also so delicious. And we're just gonna add a little sprinkle on there just to balance out the other mozzarella. Wow, and cheese is so good. Mm -hmm. I love the extra calcium that it gives us, so good. All right, so this is ready. Just like that, we've got an easy dinner put together. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 400 degrees. Okay, our chicken parm is ready. Before we take it out, I just wanna show you one of these things that I love to do when I'm waiting for my food to cook. As you guys know, I used to be a performer for a long, long time. I've taught yoga for years, I teach ballet. This is one of my favorite stretches. I like to put my leg up in a figure four, right, so that it stretches the back of your hip. I lay forward and breathe. It's one of the best stretches you can do if you have lower back pain or if you have, you know, hip discomfort. Stretching out your glutes is one of my favorite things to do. You can also do this seated. If you have a chair, right, you can put your leg like this on your chair and just have a nice stretch. Definitely great use of time when you're waiting for your food. My favorite thing. All right, let's check on this. Ah, oh, you guys, it smells so good. I did cover it with tin foil. Oh boy. Wow. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh. Wow. This looks incredible. I cannot wait to try this. This chicken parm just looks incredible. Now, if you leave the tin foil off, you'll get a more of a crustier top. I didn't want the crustier top. I like it just like this. Okay, let's cut into this. Can't wait to see. Oh my gosh. Look at that, it is cooked beautifully. It is steamy. I want some tomatoes on there. Oh my goodness gracious, that is delicious. All right, let's just go for this big bite here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh oh, great. 